welcome to another weekly reading vlog i'm literally filming this right after i finished my last video vlog because here's the deal this week is the week i'm gonna kick august in the butt because i have been not really slumpy this month because i have been reading quite a bit but i just i, don't know, I haven't been up to my normal self this month which is mainly due to the heat waves that have been crossing the country which just melt my brain but i just i want to kick august in the butt and just finally get ahead of things and therefore this week is going to be very ambitious but we're going to try and do it anyway so for what i'm currently in the middle of let's start with that first we have a book of night by holly black which I'll explain the plot of this to you some other time because I still don't grasp it. But I'm 200 pages into this one. For some reason, the Dutch edition was like 500 pages long. I don't really know what they did. But, oh well. I'm not really liking it too much. If you watched my last vlog, you know all of my thoughts on this one very well because I did go in depth about it. But, yeah. This is... I need to finish this before Tuesday. So before tomorrow. Because tomorrow I have to go to the library. This one's from the library. So it would love to return it to them you know so this definitely needs to get finished today that's 300 pages which is already ambitious on its own but we're gonna try we're gonna try and i'm also in the middle of *Fan and prejudice by jane austen which wasn't my tbr for the moment but i kind of like impulse picked up and then i put down because i was just being a bit slumpy and now that i'm more like in the reading groove i'm excited to get back to this i'm 100 pages into this one and I don't know how to feel about this yet. Like, I'm enthusiastic, but also, like, a little bit bored. And then, lastly, I also, today, right before starting, like, this morning before vlogging, I started Finale by Stephanie Garbo, which is the third and final book in the Kevin series. And I am just over 50 pages into this one so far. And I... I'm well far enough to like give an opinion. <laughs> I'm loving that we have Scarlet Perspective back. That's when it's dual perspective between Donata and Scarlet. And I always preferred Scarlet Perspective in the first book. And then we, like the first book is Scarlet, the second book is Donata and this one is mixed. And I preferred Scarlet's book, so I am very happy to be following her again. So yeah, that's all. That's the only thought I have about it so far. But those are like my main priorities for this week. But something that's also on my priority list for this week. As book lovers by Emily Henry because I just I just checked like my short for the magical readathon because I haven't talked about it a lot but I am participating in the magical readathon but I haven't really been going in order just because that kind of like limits my reading which is not something I needed but right now I just I've, <laughs> I have this document and I have next to all of the poems like a book written that I want to read and I just looked that I need to read book lovers finale and pride and prejudice to be able to you know like have the books that i read already like be valid in the class order you know so this is my tbr for this week along with finale hi it's the next day and i'm very glad to announce that i finished book of light by holly block I managed to do it. I know. It's a miracle. This is gonna fall. But I ended up giving this two to five stars. I don't like this one. It's hard to explain the plot, so stay with me. But basically we follow Charlie who kind of had a rough childhood. So she kind of like had to revert to like stealing and scamming and stuff like that to like make money. But then like a couple of months like before the start of this book, she decides to like get out of that world and like just like live a regular person's life. But then she gets like this chance at like another job to like find like steal the book of night which is this book in which some secrets about the shadow magic of this world because like this world like every person like has a shadow but like you can like i don't know you can steal shadows you can like attach someone else's shadows to someone else and there some shadows are like magic some are like regular shadows and like it, it's complicated but like there is like this book called the book of night which is supposed to have like these secrets around like some stuff happening with this magic to make him like more powerful and like years ago it got stolen and charlie was kind of like involved in like she didn't steal it but like she was like involved in like the night that it was stolen like some things happened so she has been like very intrigued about like this book so when she gets the job offer to like kind of like steal it back i guess she like takes it and like decides to go for it and some stuff about like things she always thought she knew and stuff like that kind of gets thrown in the mix and that was a horrible explanation but i kind of find it so hard to explain this book without using any spoilers because like that plot doesn't really truly come in until like over the halfway mark of this book so like 
the first half of this book is just like nonsense basically there's a lot of like flashbacks that don't really mean anything and i could have been like condensed into like one or two paragraphs like in the end of monologue to like you know so you still kind of like have this background knowledge but like it isn't like this full fleshed out story because like it definitely didn't need to be there's like so much explanation in this book yet there's so little i actually understand about like the magic system because i feel like holly black i constantly like assumed that we knew what was going on but like i never did and i was like so confused doing several points like i said the plot doesn't really kick in until like over the hell frame mark but even then it takes like a long time to like things to progress and it isn't until like the heart like the last 100 pages but like stuff really are happening because that is like the resolution but i don't really like any how anything was resolved there's just like a lot of choices made that i'm not a fan of and i just i really don't like hi i am back from the library and the bookstore even yay <laughs> it's the evening i've done some other things i thought i'd share with you what i got i actually only got two books from the library they didn't really have anything that i necessarily wanted so I only have two books, the first one being Night of the Dragon with Julia Kagawa because I just, I need to finish this series, I have no excuse. Especially now that I only have two books in the library, I should have no excuse. Then I also have, I believe it's called The Claw, yes, I have The Claw by Eloi Lloyd, which is a thriller. And as you might have noticed, I'm a bit in like a mystery thriller horror era right now. So I actually heard some good things about this book and i'm very intrigued and then i went to the bookstore and i got i got books sorry guys <laughs> we're just gonna add to my heartstop prediction with the heartstopper coloring book of course by alice osman i won't be coloring in this because i just i don't want to wound and also just like nick and charlie are black and white in my mind which like i know doesn't make sense because of like the show and like alice has shared like illustrated like colored in illustrations from them as well but like you know, I, d I see a picture like this and I'm like, oh, that's a normal Heartstopper page. And then the Dutch publisher brought out like a hardcover special edition of the first volume of Heartstopper that is like a tie-in with the Netflix show. And I didn't know I needed this until I saw it on TikTok. But it's, I love it so much. Like, so like I said, this is a hardcover and it has Nick and Charlie on the front and this is like the back. And then these are pages from everything like look at them being adorable and actually for books i want to actually read this one is um the kiss quotient by helen Huan. Helen Wan. i don't want to mispronounce that helen helen Wan. Helen Wan. I, I hear it so many times and i still don't know how to pronounce it but this is a very popular adult romance novel i don't really like the dutch cover I'm a bigger fan. I know there's some people who don't uh, over the illustrated covers. I'm not. I love them so much. And I really love the original for the kids quotient. But I'm gonna have to deal with it. And I typically I always get like a lot of romance from my bookstore, at least recently. But today they didn't really have much. So that was a disappointment. And like the few that I saw that they had were like either Colleen Hoover or like ones I already had. But I got two YA books, which I'm also excited about because I still read YA in case you forgot. First is The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which is the third and final book in the Hawthorne Legacy series. And I'm actually really excited about this. I didn't realize it came out and I saw it on the shelf and I was like, oh my god. And then lastly, I have Tweet Cute by Emma Lord, which is a book I have heard amazing things about. It's a YA contemporary romance. And from what I remember, it's about like these two teens who don't like each other in real life. They're both like kind of the head of like the social media company. Like the social media of like their family companies and like they like start a connection to that so that's something that really intrigues me but yeah that's all i got i'll leave you alone now <laughs>
reading vlog update how are you doing this week has been like really busy like making videos and like stuff like that but also fun fact <laughs> you might have seen from footage on friday i actually went to like a meet and greet with Kami, who's like a belgian singer flemish singer and i have recently become like really obsessed with her music and, like a big fan of her and I did an album review for her album that was released this past week on my account as well, which I honestly would really love if you would check out because if you understand Dutch, because it's in Dutch, because I thought it was weird to do a video like that in English. If you understand Dutch, I would really appreciate you go check it out because I was like very nervous like making it. And I do really like how it turned out and I would love to do more videos in Dutch in the future. <laughs> yeah that's what i got for you now but i really loved like there was a me like she did like meet and greets on thursday and friday all across kind of like the country or like flanders at least and i went to the one that was like the closest by which was on friday and <laughs> and it was so long and waiting like i waited in line for like two hours which is a really long time but it was still really nice to meet her and she's like so nice so sweet and i didn't really really love me and her i like like pop up like pictures that they took and yeah yay you don't care about that you care about reading on friday i started book lovers with emily henry and i finished that last night and i just i am obsessed with this book i love it so much this book follows Nora, who is like a literary agent and like two years i believe before the start of this yeah two years before the start of this book she ends up meeting with charlie who is a book editor and she has a literary agent like goes to meet him to like kind of like bitch a book by her client but charlie like immediately rejects it like hates the book and that kind of like leaves a bit of a strain between them but like they don't really interact much until like two years later when her sister takes nora on like this long trip where just the two of them having fun in like a small town and she ends up bumping into Charlie there and yeah it's a romance obviously and I love this so much I give it five five stars oh god I was in tears when I finished this but not because of like sad tears but like happy tears because just the way this is wrapped up was perfect I feel like this was like one of the best endings I've ever read in a romance novel I love it so much but even before that I really go to love these characters like very quickly i just immediately became attached to them i really liked them i really liked the development they went through i loved the relationship between Nora and her sister i thought that was done really well it's a very complex relationship with a lot of issues but still a lot of love like everything comes out of love and i really love how that was handled in this book and of course the romance is absolutely amazing i was like we have a little prologue which is like the first like meeting between them at the where he shuts down the book but then like the first interaction between them after like in the actual main storyline from that moment on i was like completely sold on them because i just i really love their back and forth their banter i thought they had such a great dynamic together there were, there were several funny lines between them as well i left it like a couple of times but, like they also had like these beautiful moments where they, like open up to each other and you could tell that they were like really comfortable on each other and found comfort in each other and i just i really loved how that relationship developed and i was just like then today I'm planning on reading Pride and Prejudice but also Gallon by Victoria Schwab because I saw this a couple of weeks ago and like put it down because of like a brain melt but now I kind of feel like ready to dive into this but I know like more in the evening when I'm more tired I my brain won't be able to like pick up on this so that's why I'm also planning to like pick up Gallon 10. Oh I also forgot I'm also in the middle of Finale by Stephanie Garber I'm on page 200 of that right now and I'm really enjoying it. This is the last book in the Carnival series and Carnival, the first book, is about Scarlett who every year she writes a letter to Legend who is kind of like the organizer of Carnival, the boss of it all. And Carnival is like this magical like event, mystery game thing that happens every year in like a different location and, Scar and you can only go if you're invited. So Scarlett like writes a letter every year in hopes that she and her sister can go because they have like not a great home life and now when the book starts like kind of like the final year because Scarlett is about to be like married off to someone else so it's like the final year that they can go and she actually gets invited with her sister and they end up going and shit happens you know and this is the third book in the series the last one 
and I really loved the first book when I read that in the beginning of the year and then the second book I didn't like as much which is why it took me so long to get to the third one but I'm very excited to finally be able to finish the series and I'm really liking this I'm not loving it as much as I did the first book but it is it's a good read there's a lot of like relationship drama that i don't really care about i just feel like it's a little bit too much i feel like if it was a little bit more of like a subplot like more to the background i wouldn't mind as much but right now it's just like a little bit too much and then i feel like it also gets a little bit info dumpy at points because this is expanding on the world a whole lot so it's explaining a whole lot and i feel like it could be like i don't know woven in a little bit better but the main storyline is very interesting and i'm very excited to keep reading and figure out what's gonna happen hi how are you doing it is monday which means a wrap up of the reading vlog i didn't accomplish exactly what i wanted to accomplish yesterday i did manage to get to page 200 in pride and prejudice which means i am like 90 pages from the end so you know i'm happy with that that was kind of the goal and then i also finished finale by stephanie garber which again was the goal let's quickly talk about what i thought of this i gave this three out of five stars i just you know my relationship with this series is complex i really loved the first one and i didn't really like the second one and i feel like this one just like smacked down in the middle where there were elements that i really loved but then elements i just did not care for i i think i mentioned most of that already in my update yesterday but i really loved like the main plot and i just saw a line i thought was really interesting and i really like was gripped by that and i that kept me reading and like i just wanted to know how this was gonna end and how things were gonna unravel i really liked that i also really liked how the world got expanded in this book like it did get info dumpy at times but it was a lot of interesting stuff there it just that the relationship drama was just too much and i did not care for it and i feel like if it was just a smaller part of this book i would have liked it so much more because right now it just it was such it got so repetitive as well because it was like the same thing over and over again and i just i wish it was less i mean i didn't get to gallant so let's forget i said that i wanted to get to that so yeah this is what i read this week plus finale and i'm quite happy with that actually i wanted to read a little bit more this week but i'm still really happy with it and yeah hopefully i'll see you around next week Here I am again, the same old situation. What does the gap thing have to be so complicated?